Okay, so the invasive species I chose was lake trout. They have a dark gray body and white spots. Their tail is deeply forked and they have white tips on the ends of their fins, which you can see better in the picture on the next slide. So they mainly eat like other smaller fish, but they do eat like other things when they can't have that or like when they're younger. Uh, they mainly spawn in late summer or fall. It's not uncommon for them to live more than 25 years. And it's even been recorded of them living up to 60. They're often 24 to 36 inches in length. And the largest recorded one was 100 pounds. They spend most of their lives in cooler, deeper bodies of water. So they're native. This map here just kind of shows where they are. It doesn't really differentiate between native and non-native, but they're native to like the Northeastern US, um, the Great Lakes, Canada and Alaska and are invasive in Western parts of the US. Specifically, there's a big problem in Yellowstone National Park. So they were stocked in some lakes and surrounding areas of the park and even some lakes in the park, but they were most likely someone, an angler or someone else in the park had illegally placed them into Yellowstone Lake where they're a big problem. And they were first documented there in 1994. And after that, they just kind of continued to grow and take over. So the main problems they cause has to do with the native Yellowstone cutthroat trout, which you can see in the picture, the comparison between them. So since they are larger, they can either eat them, which is a big problem, and they also compete for the food sources since they eat the same types of things. The cutthroat trout is considered a keystone species of the ecosystem in Yellowstone and they serve as a food source for many other larger animals. So main impacts caused by the declining population of the cutthroat as a result of the lake trout is that like these other high level predators don't have a food source and that can throw off the whole ecosystem and in some cases it's even negatively affected the species like there's a decline in breeding pairs of ospreys in the park and grizzly bears and otters just don't have the, that food source. And the main control method that's used is trap nets and gill nets just to remove or even kill the trout. In the past two decades, they spent about $20 million trying to control them. And since their, their discovery, more than 3 million have been removed from Yellowstone Lake. That's about it. Okay. Thank you, Paige. Golf clap. Yep. <laughs>